In this video, I'm gonna show you how to solve access none errors, how to find actor references needed for casting, and the various methods of getting those references outside of casting. Let's start with an overview to get a good understanding of what we're doing. Anytime you wanna access the traits of another actor, like health, its location, you are referencing that actor. Referencing can be done an infinite number of ways, and the most common ones you'll hear are casting, but that's only part of it. Casting is the paint on the canvas. You've already identified the base, but the base is where most people get confused. Casting has this little object reference here, which is a pain in the butt to get until this video. All right, so let's first tackle the access none error. We should figure out what that means by making it happen. For this example, I'm gonna say that I wanna adjust the location of this cube here. I want to set its location when we press a button, that's it. So in our character blueprint, we'll add an actor variable and name it cube. Let's make an event where the one key is pressed and put set actor location and plug cube in. Before we test this, I want you to answer this question in your head. When we press the one key to set this actor's location, what's gonna happen? What is this cube? What actor is gonna be placed at zero, zero, zero? All right, so let's test it out. Hit play and we can turn on our debugger here, pull the window back up, press one. The logic plays, but nothing happens. So let's end it and here we go, access none error. Now, I don't know about other developers, but this error message is extremely unhelpful. If anything, confusing, and I'll explain why in a second. Access none and set actor location means that Unreal is not detecting an actor to set the location for. It's returning nothing or none. And I say that this error is confusing because rather than say, I don't know, literally anything else, like you're trying to set the property of a value that doesn't exist. So you could go, oh wait, it doesn't exist. Yeah, it does. I wanna move this cube here. So you could think to yourself, well, what's the issue? I've set the variable. I know I wanna move the cube. So, ah, I need to tell Unreal that the cube is this variable and that's what I wanna move. Okay, so how do I do that? million dollar question with a million solutions that we'll get to in a sec. Before we do that, I want to explain more on why I think this error is also just extremely unhelpful, and I'll do that with another example. Out of the one key, if I turn off the context filter and search set visibility widget and compile, I'll get this beautifully clean red error message. And what else? Oh, a crystal clear error message, right? I didn't know these existed either. This blueprint self is not a widget. Therefore, target must have a connection. Look at that. Do you have questions? Do I have questions? No, it's clear as day. It highlights exactly where it even pinpoints to the specific actor we're talking about. Oh, but Dilo, in the access none error, you can just snap to set actor location. Sure, great. What an easy example. What do you do when we have some ultra mega venti crackhead function with a million different actors and it doesn't tell us which one to look at? Anyway, we have cube, which you, me, and everyone else knows is this cube that we want, but we need to set it to the variable somehow, and we'll do that right now. So there are countless ways to set this up, but we'll go over a few that I use. There are very helpful functions already built out in Unreal, and knowing about them is like 80% of what makes you a good developer. Method one is to use search get actor or actors. And from here, you can search the various ways to get references for you to set up for your variable. For example, if I say get all actors of class static mesh actors and for loop through them and try this out, I'm going to get errors because I'm referencing every static mesh in my level instead of the specific cube that I want. So this is too broad. Instead, I can make a class for my cube so that instead of static mesh actors, I'm searching for class cube. And if I only have one, then I can set that as my reference and boom. Just a side note, if you change the class, sometimes you have to get a new for loop because the array element here can change. We aren't using the cube variable at the moment because our example is really basic, but you would technically set it here and then use that everywhere else in your blueprint. Kinda, I'll explain more later. 
This is an easy, easy way to reference something. If you only have one of them in your world, key item, specific character, you get the idea. If you have multiple things, a tracking system is really recommended. Okay, method two, casting. Every beginner's worst nightmare. Casting is amazing and will always be used because this is how you can access the variables of another actor. If you have combat, you're decreasing the health of the target, typically by the one causing the damage or the weapon held by the damager. Most scenarios you find yourself in is when you have no idea what to plug in here. You're totally fine if it's the player character because you can easily get player character, cast your character, but what about the others? This cube, for example, if I press the two key and want to change one of its variables, well, that's part of the trickiness. You could do what we just explained, which is to get all actors and figure out how to identify each one's index, but that's a little hard. Instead, you'd want to neatly create it as a reference and then use it. Earlier, I explained that we weren't using it, but that if we set it, we can reference it anywhere, kind of, and here's what I mean. Most of the time, I like to set references to things upon coming into contact through collisions. So I'd add a collision to the cube, and on overlap, I'd reference our player as the hit actor, then set the player's variable as self. So do you guys get what I just did? Anytime the player is in range of the cube, we have then set it as the variable and can now run the logic. Plus, casting comes with its own error handling that won't run unless the cast is successful. So if we press one without having it set on overlap, then it won't give us the accessed error because the cast was unsuccessful. When I've mentioned we can reference our variable everywhere, kind of, the other issue that arises is our variable may no longer be referenced, but gets called on later in our project. The simple fix for this is to convert your variables to validated gets so that the logic won't run if the variable isn't valid or set or exists. Anyway, I hope y'all found this helpful. Please let me know if y'all got questions. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Laters.